Elecraft has a firmware update for the KX2, and in this video I'm going to upgrade mine to see if I can improve the performance when I'm out activating. There's a firmware update for the KX2 that allows it to operate to 10 watts in CW mode. So the first thing we're going to do at the Elecraft website is go over to the support page and go down to firmware software updates. I've read through what we need and April 18th of 2022 is the latest update for firmware for my radio. Scroll down and we're going to pick the KX line, which is what I want here. And this is my option here for the KX2. We'll view that. Each drop down gives me a little bit more information getting closer to the firmware. Now, if I take a quick look at the firmware release notes about what they've fixed and what they've done here, it'll give me an idea of what was the last update. And it looks like this is the only update that they've done since 2021. I don't remember when my last update was, so um, I'm pretty sure it was 2020, so I might be getting the two benefits from this, uh, this last change. All right, let's download the firmware. This is the file that we're going to want. I know this only because of the date stamp on it. And it is the hex file that we want, so I'm going to right-click on it and save this link. All right, so I'm going to store this here in my KX2 directory on the G drive. And one last thing that I want to do is make sure I've got the right, the most updated firmware installation tool. Pretty sure this is it, but we're going to download it just in case. All right, that's what we need. So now it's time to get out the cable and do this update. All right, I found my KX USB cable, which is what I'm going to need to upgrade my firmware on my KX2. I've downloaded the firmware file, the hex file, and on this laptop, I've installed the KX2 utility, which I'm going to need for doing that process. All that took about five minutes to get it all to happen here. If you have an Elecraft radio and you've never connected to it via USB with the cable that they provide, it is really a simple process. Once you plug it in, your computer's going to detect what COM port it's on, and that's what you're going to select here in the program. For this laptop and the KX2 connected to it, it's going to be COM4. And I'll do a quick test on the COM port to make sure it's all good. That part's good, so let's take a look at the firmware and see what it says we're at now. I'm at 2. Point, down here at the MCU, I'm at 2.89, and the DSP is 1.52. Now, it's been a while since I've used this utility, but when I look in here now, I've got copy files from Elecraft. It's taking a look and grabbing the files that I need. Now, this is really handy. Last time, I actually went through the process of actually downloading these by hand. So, well, next time I know, it's going to save some time. So, quick readme that I've already looked at on the website, but you can download this release notes file if you want to look and see the changes that they've made. So, it looks like the only update for me is the microcontroller update. I'm going to select that and the other one just because. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the send all new firmware to the KX2. Now you can see here through this update, I'm not sure if it's going to show too well on the camera, but the display on here shows MCU load. And that's a good thing. And of course, watching the update status bar on the firmware application, that's pretty cool because it gives me an idea of how well it's working. And I'm pretty sure from last time when the KX2 updates, it's going to fire back on and give me a status report. All right, fantastic. That was really straightforward and simple. That whole process took less than a minute to get done. So by the time you download the files, that's five minutes. Install and get it ready to go. Doing the update itself is another minute, so six minutes. And you can see from the KX2 utility that my firmware is up to date. All right, so that was the upgrade, the firmware upgrade for the KX2. It was really easy, and I think I'm going to have to check more often so I don't get far behind. I think I was three versions back, so this is very helpful. I'm hopeful that this is going to increase my battery life when I'm out operating portable. Well, make sure you click that like button down below if you got some value from this video, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.